And then we'll get started. And I'm waiting for Jim to come in too and say hey. Now that, we, now that we got the sound thing fixed. Yeah. Okay, so um, let me tell you what we're going to do tonight. And um, we decided to go live. We were, we were getting ready to shoot some videos for our YouTube channel. Um, and we were going to do some how-tos with decorating. We're going to do a lot of crazy things on this channel, but part of it is going to be some redoing of your decoration um, or your home decor. And so um, we were going to do some how-tos with bowls and trays and lanterns. And since we were going to videotape for YouTube anyway, we thought we might as well jump on live um, and, and do a- And test our new cameras and everything like in the moment. Yeah, and do, no a live, do a live event at the same time. So this is a little different than our typical lives. Um, typically we're just showing you product and we're telling you the price and blah, 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 and you jump on the website and you buy it. This is more of a um, pull together some decor and how to refresh for spring um, for, your, for decor you may already have or if it's something that you do want to purchase. Um, anything that we show tonight will be available, in, it's available currently in our assortment and will be available on our website under the live category when you go to the shop. So we created a new category just for this stuff. Yes, so you go to shop on the website, go to live or look for live category and then in that category are all the items that we're gonna to speak to tonight um, if you're interested in purchasing them. but. Hopefully, I mean, what I'm gonna show you is hopefully some things that you can do with items you already have at home, and you may wanna buy something completely for your bowl, or you may wanna buy a bowl, or you may wanna just buy the greenery to help refresh if you already have some pieces at home that you can use from your own house. So um, we'll give you some tips and some tricks. Uh, bear with me, it's the first time we're doing a how-to on video, so. And live. Uh, and live, and I'm not scripted, so I'm just gonna kinda wing it. I did kinda pull some things together ahead of time, but I'm gonna kinda wing it. If you have questions about anything or want to see something closer, um, we do have the technology to do that now. <laughs> so, and we haven't had that before. So, um, just put a comment in there that you want to see an item closer. Uh, Megan will let me know, and I can pop it onto the spot that um, we have that we can zoom in for you, so that you can see something closer if you're interested in it. Um, or if you need a name on something or a price on something, we can get you that as well. Um, I'll be during, your runner. during the course of the live. So we're going to do four things today and hopefully we'll get through it pretty quickly. Um, an extra large dough bowl. Are we going to move that tray? No, not okay. yet. Sorry. An extra large dough bowl. I'll just do um, Two trays. We're going to do a square oh. tray. We're going to do an oval tray. So you can see some decor pieces for um, different shapes. And this one's also more like a riser, so it's a little bit different. And then we're gonna do a lantern, um, which have been extremely popular. They're very unique and um, can go in a lot of different places from a decor standpoint. So we're gonna start with the XL bowl because that is um, one of our most popular items and um, locally or not locally, a lot of people have bought this guy. Um, I'm featuring a white tonight, but he does come in brown and black as well. Um, and any of the any of the decor that we put in it could really work in any of the colors of the bowls either. But I, like I said, I am featuring a white one tonight. Hopefully, you can can you see that okay? Yeah, because you've got the top camera up too. Remember oh, okay, top good, good, good. Camera. So um, we're going to start with just a couple of bases. Um, what I like to do from a base perspective is start in the middle. So um, and I build from the middle down when I'm building a bowl or when I'm building a display. So I thought I'd do. In this particular one, I'm gonna show you a taller base. Um, these guys will typically go on your dining room table um, or a lot of people have been putting them on their island if you have a very large island. Uh, and so you can get a little bit of height out of it. So I'm gonna show you a tall one with height uh, and it's sister base that doesn't have height. 
that goes with it. But if you wanted to just modify this and a candlestick, which a lot of people have at home, if you wanted to modify it and you didn't want it as tall, you could do one single vase in the middle and not do two with the candlestick. Um, that was a little shorter and that would keep your sight line at your table a little bit lower. Love if, those lower sight lines. Right, if that was something that you wanted to do. So you can modify this, but for, for this particular one, we're gonna start with uh, a taller base and do something a little bit larger in scale. Um, and we're gonna start in the middle. So this is my middle base. We're gonna do the three and then we're gonna add your um, the accessories and some of the um, fun kind of spring pieces after I do my middle. But I always start with my middle. I start with my florals in the middle and I try to build my middle first and then I go out from there and come down from there. So with these guys, um, I already know I wanna do a candle. Um, I love, I'm doing a taller version. You could do a shorter candle if you needed to. I already know I wanna do a candle. This is a timer candle. Um, you put your um, battery in it. You flip it on at whatever time you want it on to come on every day. So if it's four o'clock, you want your candle to be lit every day. You flip it on, it comes on at four o'clock, it stays on for six hours, it turns itself off, and then every day it will come on at four o'clock until your battery runs out. So it's great, you don't have to mess with it yourself. Um, and we do sell those. Um, I wanted to start with a candle because who doesn't like a lot of little bit of light and ambiance? Yes, when you're doing your table or your island sphere. Um, so we're gonna start there. The florals that I have for this taller guy, uh, we are going to do some taller florals. I'm going to try to keep it as springy and simple as possible. So I'm starting with a, quite, a, quite a bit taller stem. It's about a 35 inch stem uh, that we're going to put in here first as our base. And that's three stems? Three stems. And we're going to keep it as simple as possible. What is that called? That's our yarrow stem. And then I'm going to add our, um, I don't know what this is called actually. I think it's a thistle, a heather thistle fall stem. Let me look at the tag. This is a thistle heather something, something, something. I can look it up. Thistle heather fall. fall. I, would Thank name, you. I would name the vases as well. I'd name everything you're putting in. Ugh. Boho diamond 13 inch. Boho diamond 13 inch vase and a boho diamond 8 inch vase um, is what I have in here now. So um, this autumn are already starts to look super springy when you put this in and it's beautiful in and of itself. Um, I am gonna add a, this is a lace leaf stem. It's a really pretty eucalyptus stem. I don't know if you can see it up close or not, but it's got the, um, yeah, right, right there. Nope, and then we're gonna go there. All right, we're close on it. Okay, you, so you can see it up close. It's got the veining that the eucalyptus has. It's super realistic looking. Um, it's got a little bit of a bud berry, berry bud on it. Uh, again, that's super realistic looking. I like to add it in um, just as a filler in the front of this. And I'm doing it backwards so it's a little hard to give it a little more depth than just the tall florals. So I'm gonna put them close together and then pull so some of it hangs down. Does that look okay? You're gonna have to be my... Uh, okay. Normally I'm doing this from the front. So that's your start. For the candle, I'm going to do a candle ring in the Irish hops. Again, it's a really pretty spring summer leaf with a, a white Hold bud on. on it. Hold on. Did we lose? Yeah. Hold on. That one. Oh, I know. Uh -oh. Good? Okay, hold on. I'm going to switch you over to three for now. They can keep going. Yep. Okay. So for your candle, I want to do a, a ring that has the Irish buds in it. It's a real pretty um, spring summery ring on there. And then I'm going to add the greenery down in two different locations. So this is a larger ring that you can use as a small wreath or you can use it as a green filler in your bowls. Um, it's the Bountiful Blooms, Blooms Bountiful ring. And I'm going to bring another candle down inside that. What one did I have? I think it was the boho. So 
So we've got a lot of great candles that we've been pouring. And if you um, follow us, you know that we pour our candles on site. They're 100% soy. Um, we do a small batch at a time. And we've been getting a lot of these great little ceramic planters, vessels that we've been pouring in for the spring and summer. And this one's a, a little three-footed boho one um, that is just perfect to put in a bowl or in a tray. So we're gonna put that down on the end. And then I wanna bring some greenery down on this side. I'm gonna carry the Irish hops over. Um, but I want a little bit of height. So I'm gonna add uh, one of our little cream urns in the three inch to add some height down here. And then we fill in with some of our balls and our spring accessories. And I haven't done anything with him yet. I'll show you in a minute. So, because I'm using a white bowl, um, I'll do a little bit of a, a brown accent. Um, if I was using a brown bowl, I'd probably do white metal in the balls. But this is just one of our carved wood balls and then a moss ball. And then one of our brown twine balls and again a moss ball. see from up front to see how it looks so you'll, you'll have to uh, tell me if it's okay and then I want to add um, another boho candle because we want candlelight on this side too right now if you finished your bowl you would have candle here and no light down here so I'm going to pull that light down on this side and then we're going to add a few pieces of some spring to it. So if you look, I've got a little... Um, can we see the urn up close? With the urn, this yes. guy? Good? It's just a small fluted urn. Works great to put a moss ball in or florals in. Gives you some height. Train's coming by, sorry. <laughs> so we're gonna add a little happy spring. We're gonna add a little bunny. And another little bunny here. Just to give it some love from a spring perspective. Add a little beads in the front on this base and then for this particular look I'm going to put um, this is one of our newer florals it's a triple um, Gerbera Daisy super cute comes as three in a step three in a pack um, I change the height of them they come you know all one height but I would change the height of them if I'm going to use them as a single statement in here in and then he's super fresh super clean um, and if you want to add some color so I like the whites and the green especially in spring I might add color in it as I go into the summer um, but especially for spring I love the the whites and the greens but if you wanted to add some color to it you could really simply like you leave all your base the same we switch to the same floral in a peach which is super pretty for summer kind of thing with it and then we just take its sister which is the bigger version of it in a single and all of this is on the website and we pop a few in and that gives you can you see it okay gives you a totally different I mean a totally different look but it lightens it up gives you some color for spring you actually probably could put three of them in there I didn't grab a third right behind I, I, me I could have done this <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. There you go. Oh, well, kind of fell down. But you could put a third one in there as well and um, lighten it up for, put some color in it for summer. So, and then your little guys here could be something different that has some color in it that you could add to it as well. So that's your bowl. That's your extra large bowl um, that is, takes your base. And when you're ready to go into fall, Again, you keep your bases, you can keep your vases, you can keep your um, candlestick, you can keep the little urn, you can keep your balls most likely, or you might trade them out for 
pumpkins, and then you just add some of your fall pieces in to change it up when you're ready to go from the spring, summer to the fall. So that's your, that's our first one, the XL bowl. I'm not carrying it with all that stuff on it. Okay. I'll just take the bases first. That's okay. okay. And then the next thing we're going to do is the um, square tray. Probably could carry it this way now. Yep. He's heavy. It's a heavy one. Yeah. Okay. So square tray. Um, I think it can sometimes be a challenge because they're so square. I'm going to go big. And I'm going to do this one in a um, very green and a little bit of black, charcoal -y black accentuated with it. Um, so that you can kind of get that modern boho, modern rustic vibe. The tray itself, if you... Um, it's one of our newer items and it's pretty boho rustic already. It's uh, brown, it's got a lovely little rattan distressing on it. Um, these would be great like on your island, it could be great on your coffee table, it could go on a, if you have a larger foyer table, um, you could set it on there. Um, they're just super pretty as a riser. If you have a big countertop space, you could put it there. But we're gonna go big. So we're gonna start with our chicken wire vase um, jug. It's about 12 inches tall. Um, if you have a, a jug at home that's large or a mason jar that's large or a vase that's large at home, you could replace it for this as well. And then just a set of candle holders that are in the same color scheme. So I'm doing matching versus not matching on this. Um, because once you put all the greenery on it, that really showcases um, versus these guys standing out. I could have done a lighter color on it. Um, and that's fine too, but I really like the uh, same color tones in the candlesticks for this particular go round. So that's our base this time. And from a floral perspective, in the vase, I'm going to do, bring these guys up. So I wanted a little drape in this one. So I'm going to use our dewy vine. Super cute to start with. And then same eucalyptus lace leaf stems. I have a public service announcement. Yeah? The, apparently there's live captioning blocks at the bottom of the screen that's kind of blocking things. So we're gonna work on that behind the scenes while you continue. Okay. I'm not stopping though. No, no. keep going. Okay. It's um, just basically printing out what you're saying. Oh, nice. Which is Kind of not a bad that. thing, but Either it way. blocks. It well, blocks the vision, the visual. Okay. All right. Well, you know, we're working these things out. So I'm using um, a, our Tempest Blooms, just a simple white flower, the same um, eucalyptus lace leaf that I used in the last one. I'm putting in this one as well. Again, it's hard for me to see what it looks like, and then. Um, Just kind of intertwine these together so that they don't look like separate stems. And I, I pull it down a little bit so that it can, again, kind of go into the vine so it doesn't look like they're all separate stems. Hopefully that looks okay. Not super tall, but just a really pretty spring summer vibe going on. And then um, we have a ring that goes with this guy. Um, the lace, what's it called? Lace leaf fairy ring. Super cute. This is way versatile. It is full. You can use it to put a candle in. You can use it on candle rings. You can use it just to set down and put something in it. Um, there's, a, there's a lot that you can do with it. It's a really pretty staple for spring, summer. So I'm going to put him... I don't remember if I put him on the top one or the lower one. So give me one second and I'll look. He was on the lower one. I'm going to put him down here and just fluff him up a little bit. And then we're going to do a greenery sphere. No florals, just something super simple. This is our pebble eucalyptus sphere um, on the top. Carry that green over. And instead of a candle, I mean, you could do a candle in here, but I'm going to do a candle down here in a minute. So 
instead of a candle, um, I'm going to do I have it that way. No, opposite way around. There we go. There we go. Um, instead of a candle, we're going to do a sphere to kind of tie this um, black chicken wire and the modern kind of black rustic that's happening right now. So I'm using our cement sphere on there, which brings that black over. And then we're going to add our cement, I don't know what it's called, hash. You know what it's called, Megan? Black dashed footed. Black dashed footed candle. Again, one of our cool ceramic candles. We're going to add that in. And to give it some character, we're just going to loop our beads there. And add our vintage bunny. So it has a little bit of a spring touch to it. This is a vintage um, candy mold bunny that we have. And again, it kind of goes with that metal black boho vibe that we have going on. And super simple. The greenery just really pulls it together um, and makes that spring summer statement for you. Good? Questions at all? Okay. So that guy's done. Jim can't take it. Come on, boss. Thank you. Got it. Yep. So the next one we'll do is just a real simple bay, a simple tray, and then we'll do the lantern last, and we'll be done. So this is just one of our um, simple beaded oval trays. Um, and even if you don't, you might have a metal tray that's oval or round, um, same rules apply to it. Um, we're going to keep this one really simple. This could be something that you put on a side table or a sofa table. Um, you could even you could do it on your coffee table as well, in your bookcase, if you have a large enough bookcase. So we're, like I said, we're going to keep it super simple. We're going to start with a very chunky candle holder and a picture frame, which things that you could have around your house. These two kind of match each other. So we have our boho picture frame and we have um, our six inch wood carved candle. So it's a really nice candle holder. It's a really nice chunky candle holder. And then we're just simply going to use that same candle ring that we used in the last one. And we're actually going to put a candle on it this time. So you could do a jar candle here. You could do a pillar candle if you like a pillar candle. You could do a ceramic candle here. Um, I like the ceramic because it tends to go to that kind of boho spring feel. And then um, we're going to add just some spring elements to it. I'm going to use that same little three inch urn and add our cute little um, bird's nest that comes with the three little eggs, the blue eggs in it. That's great for Easter and can last all the way through the spring. And then we're going to just add a simple Easter bunny in a real quiet kind of gray buffalo check. Super simple. Things that you probably already have around your house and you can just add a couple of things to it to spring it up. So that one's done. And again, these are all available on the website. And then lastly, we're going to do the lantern. These guys are so fantastic. Like I have mine at home on my hearth. Um, but I've seen people put them as a centerpiece on their table. I've seen them um, on the back of a sofa table. I've seen them on a porch. If you have a covered porch that doesn't get wet by the elements and they're really pretty that way as well. Just really versatile and super unique. This particular one's going to be dressed out a little bit more with things in it. Um, you could literally do one big vase in here with flowers coming out of it and call it a day. That would be super simple. 
you could do a real plant in here. Um, if, you, if you so chose, you could have a live plant in there that had, you had outside and that would look really, really pretty as well. Um, this one, I'm gonna do a little bit of decor in it just so we can. The lanterns, do we have them in the store? Yes. This lantern? Yes. yes. So I'm starting with um, a white vase and a short candlestick. And our florals for this guy. Whenever I do a lantern floral, um, I want it to be a little bit fuller so it kind of sticks out the edges. So I'm using our um, Bountiful Blooms. These, these guys are, um, although they're faux, they're super pliable so you can get a lot of spread on just a couple of stems. And that's the only thing I'm going to use on this. I'm not even adding anything else to it. I'm just going to keep it super simple with one, one type of stem. And then we're just going to play with it to let it... I'm back to help. Hang out. I saw you struggling. And then for the candlestick, um, because this is so big and full, if I did a full ring on it, it'd be almost too much. It's overpowering. So. We have this <laughs> tiny little, Riley's gonna bark. Um, we do have Riley here today and we're in the store so people are walking by and he can't stand it. He wants to protect the store as well as he protects the house. Anyway, um, antique candle ring that, um, it's just a small, very simple antique eucalyptus. It's got a little bit of peach in it and a couple of different shades of green. But it's a nice thing to add if you want a little bit of color, a little bit of texture, but you don't want something super big that's going to distract from what you got going on here. And then instead of doing a real candle this time, um, these guys are amazing. They are metal with cutout in it. It's a little votive lantern. Actually, it's called the metal white votive lantern. Um, and it has your little, um, what you call that? The, the little rubber um, thingy for surface protector. Yes, and um, again, you just put a you can put a real candle in there, or you can do an LED. I'm doing an LED in this one. Um, we sell these guys for five dollars. Same thing. You turn it on. So if I turned it on right now at 7:30, it will stay on for six hours. It will shut off, and then it'll come on at 7:30 every single night. For you and this guy has a great battery life but when it's done it does just those little circle batteries that you can uh, change it with so now we have to mark down that candle all right it's cute mm -hmm. the little votive lantern up close please the little votive lantern up close good because i can't get this to work right got it So if you see, it just flickers really nicely That's in cute. there. And then we're gonna set it in here. And I like to use the timer LEDs, especially when I'm doing something that's in a lantern, so you can see it, um, in a lantern or up on a mantle or somewhere where I don't wanna have to fuss with it every single day when I want it lit. It's so you can give me a heart attack and I walk through the house and I can go, oh, we forgot to burn out, blow out candles. Right, and it's not really that you forgot to blow out, blow out candles, we just, let them go. Let them go. It's kind of right. nice. I'm kind of spoiled now. Right. Um, and that way you don't have to mess with it again. And these, these, those are great. I have them all over my house in several sizes. Okay. So then all I want to do with this guy then is add seasonal to it. And then you can change your seasonal out because really this could stay um, all summer. I'm going to put Easter bunnies in there. We have these two cute little, can you see them okay on there? Cute little resin Easter bunnies in a couple of different shapes. I'm going to set inside there just to add some seasonal love to it. But then when Easter's over with, you really could do like um, something 4th of July or Memorial Day oriented, which we'll have. I don't have them in the store yet, but we will. Um, you could do just an orb would be pretty as an architectural piece in the middle, like a very large metal orb or a very large um, rope orb for the summer and leave this the same. So won't have to do a lot of change to it and super cute decor for inside. 
probably wouldn't do this as an outside one, but really cute decor for inside. So that's that. Good. Any questions, Megs? We're good. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. And like I said, um, all of these items are available on our website. It's all current assortment. Um, we gave it its own category. Gave it its own category. It's under live on the website. Certainly, if you have questions about anything, you can put them in the comments section as you're watching the video, and then I'll go through and answer them. We will leave the live section up. Uh, through the weekend so sure. you have plenty of time to purchase anything that you want to purchase um, that's on there we have a ton if you don't once you get out of the live category if you also want to look at just updating your house from a floral perspective we have a ton of really pretty florals I don't know if you can see them behind us or not um, but we're full on with spring and summer florals you can find those in the what's it called the floral and bowl filler section on the website um, if you're wanting to update with other florals than what I've shown you tonight. So these ones that I showed you tonight will also be linked on the live category, but we have plenty more in that other section. So thanks for joining us and have a great night.